Welcome to this video on string calculations. You can download the exercise workbook to follow along in your own copy of Tableau. Let's say we're responsible for the sales for several brands of products. If we look at product names, most contain the company who makes them. We want to highlight and focus on the ones that we're in charge of. To do that, we can create a list of those companies and then create a calculation that finds product names containing those companies. We have a parameter already set up. Let's right-click and edit. And we see that it's a string parameter that allows a list of values. These values are the companies we're interested in. We'll add one for Xerox and click OK. Now we need to create a calculation that checks if one of these names is in product name. We'll right-click in the data pane and select Create Calculated Field. We'll call this Company Products. We'll use a string function, Contains, to find out if the company name we have selected in the parameter is found within the name of the product. We'll type Contains, and we're first asked for the string we want to search in. This is product name. And we need a comma. Now we're asked for the string we want to search for. In this case, it's the company name from the parameter. So we'll bring that out and close the parentheses. The calculation is valid, so we'll click OK. We've now created a Boolean, or true-false, calculation that we can use in the view. We'll bring this field to the filter shelf and keep only true. Now when we click through the parameter, we see products from the specific companies that we're interested in. A common need is to split a field into separate parts. In our dataset, order ID consists of four parts, the distribution center code, the year of the order date, and two additional pieces to make it a unique identifier. Let's split these into separate fields. We'll right-click on Order ID, select Transform, and choose Split. Tableau has now created four new fields, one for each part of the Order ID. Let's rename the Split 1 as Distribution Center. Let's bring this out and then bring out number of records so we can see the volumes going through these distribution centers. As a note, splitting strings can also be done when connecting to the dataset originally. Thank you for watching this string calculation video. We invite you to continue with the free training videos to learn more about using Tableau.